Babs and besties. Today, we are going to see if we can make some doll glasses. You may have noticed my mini Toya has been without her glasses for a while. We were using these Barbie glasses that I painted gold and they look okay, but I really want bigger glasses and a thinner frame. I'm talking Snapchat filter glasses. So I think we can make some glasses using clear plastic from packaging, paper, a pencil and a pen, and paint. I start by using a pair of Barbie glasses and I make a light sketch around them. Place the glasses on their side so we can get the length for the ear. Let's get the nose bridge and the other eye, then place it on its side very carefully to get the other ear. Now that we have a rough sketch of the dimensions, we can start to sketch out the design for our glasses. I want two large circles. To make sure my circles are even and nice and round, I'm just gonna trace the cap of a pen. This is a Sharpie pen, and I think this might be a good size. I did my best to clean them up. Now I'm going to go over it with my Sharpie pen. And this one's no longer working. I'll be right back. Okay, now I can go over the lines with my Sharpie pen. Totally not perfect but we're gonna try to draw a few more different types of glasses so we have some options. I feel like these are still a little uneven, so I'm going to put them in my computer to clean them up. I'm back. You didn't even notice I was gone for like an hour. I scanned it, used my computer to cut them in half, then I did a mirror image so both lenses are the same size. Now that we have our template, cut a rectangle of clear plastic from packaging I want to use a pretty sturdy plastic. I'm using the front of one of the Barbie Olympic boxes. Cut a rectangle that is larger than the glasses. Place it on top of the printed image. Use tape to secure it. I'm taping all four sides. I don't want this to move at all. Because if it moves once, we're going to have a difficult time getting it back to where we want it. There we go. I'm trying not to touch the other glasses at the same time so we don't have to keep reprinting it. All right, we're good. To cut them out, I'm using my X-Acto knife and a cutting mat. Place the paper onto the cutting mat. Then very carefully and very slowly, I cut on the outside of the line. Now this is pretty difficult for me to do with the camera in front of me, so I might have to stop in a minute so I can get close and really concentrate. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate. And I messed up, so I am going to remove this plastic by just cutting off the tape, then start over. This is one of those crafts where you really just have to take your time and try your best to be as neat as you can. The first time, I kind of just went around the glasses and scored it. I only cut on the outside of the lenses and not the inside. Carefully go over it again and this time I'm really trying to cut all the way through the plastic. Uh, I like totally destroyed that. Yeah, so we are on a journey of discovery together. This is a pretty hard plastic, which means it takes a little bit of muscle to make those cuts. And with it being this skinny, I just wasn't able to do it neat enough. I am not loving those edges, but we can still test them out on the doll. And I totally like the sizing. I think we got the shape pretty good. We just need to do a better job of cutting them out. 
Let's try out the larger glasses. Maybe those will be a little easier to cut out because they are bigger. This was definitely easier to cut since it was larger. I think I was a little bit more accurate this time. Let's fold over the sides to make glasses for our smart doll. Since we didn't paint the frames, the glasses kind of blend in, but I would like to see those frames. So let's try and paint them. I have gold acrylic paint using a paintbrush. I just paint the edge then allow it to dry. You can definitely see those frames now. I just have to work at being a little neater. But they are big glasses with a thin frame and that's just the look we were looking for. I am going to try and make the Barbie sized glasses again. I'm just gonna use a thinner plastic this time. I'm using clear plastic from a Barbie fashion pack. I taped the plastic down and we're gonna try to cut it out again. Taking our time, moving very slowly. This is a thinner plastic, so it doesn't take much to go all the way through it. This one was so much easier and faster to cut I'm like really impressed, but I shouldn't be surprised because it is thinner. <laughs> it makes sense. So I'm just trying to carefully get it off the paper. I might have a few areas I didn't cut all the way through. So we're just trying to get this off without destroying it. Uh, I don't want to bend it either. There's a little piece right there that's still attached. There we go. And, ah, got it. These are very delicate, but I was able to make my lines a lot smoother. Let's go ahead and bend back the sides for another pair of clear glasses. This is definitely an improvement but I'm thinking it's one of those things where practice makes better. So let's try again to get even smoother. And I went ahead and redesigned our printable because it takes a couple of tries to try to get pretty neat at this, or for me at least. So now there are two sets of glasses in each style on the printable. I used a marker to make some of the lines a little thicker you can totally modify the glasses before you cut them out. Now let's try this again. I honestly thought this was going to be a very simple craft. I was like, we're gonna do this in no time, but it's the trying to be neat part that is slowing me down. It's been about 30 minutes. We have quite a few options here. I'm not sure if I was getting any neater. I think I was. So uh, let's go ahead and start painting. I'm gonna try the gold paint again and just put it on the edges. I think I did a much neater job this time. I did have to stop myself from trying to go over it over and over again because that just creates like this clumpiness that doesn't look super great. Overall, I'm pretty happy with them. I just need to wait for them to dry. Once they are dry to the touch, I can take the end of a skinny stick and just push the line out a little to make it a little thinner and a little more even. This is my chance to correct any spots that I wasn't super neat on painting. And now I have little tiny doll glasses that have lenses and they're made from recycled materials. If you're looking at our printable, this is how the round glasses at the top turned out. Here are the glasses in the middle. I painted one gold and the other black. The glasses at the bottom fit our smart dolls. I'm cutting out the last pair. These kind of remind me of 
uh, safety glasses. So let's fold over the sides. Since they're safety goggles, we don't have to paint them. I just tuck the end of the glasses into her hair and we can totally use these in our miniature lab. If we can find plastic in different colors, cut off a small piece, remove any lining, tape it down, and cut them out. Then bend back the sides to make colored lenses that we could use as sunglasses. I saw a picture of Billie Eilish wearing glasses very similar to these. So if you're a Billie Eilish fan, then this one's for you. Let's try these on Mini Toya. The frames can reach over her ears, but I should have made them just a little bit longer because they're kind of bending across her face. Oh man, that was a lot of work. But if I just tuck them into her hair, we can totally get away with it. So if you are using our printable, I would suggest extending the end just a little. Like, just a little. You can even make them straight so you can just push them into the doll's hair. And the guys can wear them too. Hmm, it fits around his ear just fine. Maybe I just got a big-headed doll. But regardless of the circumference of her cranium, we can now make an endless supply of miniature glasses. Thank you for joining us while we made miniature glasses with lenses. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!